Are you considering moving to the Waldemar area? In today's video, we are going to go over the pros and cons of the city of Waldemar. So let's dive right in. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. This is Bertiana, Bertie Morales. I am a realtor with Signature Real Estate Group, and I am located in the city of Waldemar. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more real estate content. Watch the whole video and stay tuned till the end to find out how you can get your complimentary home sellers or buyers guide. Now, to give you guys a little bit of background to myself, I was born in Inland Valley Hospital, as was my husband and our son, and that is located in the city of Waldemar. My husband and I were both raised in the city of Lake Elsinore, which is right next to Waldemar. And we came back here about four and a half, almost five years. So we've had the opportunity to see the city of Waldemar grow since we were kids. We both grew up in the school district, school district being the Lake, El Lake Elsinore Unified School District, which does cover the Waldemar school. So we both know what it's like to grow up in the school district. We know what it's like to have a child in the school district. So we are, cre I'm creating this video from experience and as Waldemar native, Waldemarian, Waldemarian? Have we decided on a name? Go ahead and jump into the bad news. Con number one is rural roads. We do pride ourselves on improving the condition of our town little by little. So this does mean parts of town will be under construction. If you follow notifications from the city of Waldemar or even join the city of Waldemar Facebook page, we do let you know when um, construction will be happening. And if you need to add five minutes to take a detour around this construction. The second con for me is going to be the heat. For myself, it's a pro because I love the heat. However, people have a hard time adjusting to 110 degree weather in the summer. I have a lot of clients from LA and San Diego that have a hard time adjusting to this heat. It's not as cool as our neighboring counties. Now, I suggest as a realtor to get solar panels or find a house that already has solar panels and become best friends with your central air conditioner. Make sure your car has air conditioner during the summer, well, year round, but mainly during the summer. Spring and fall are still pretty hot and it just depends on whether or not we get rain during the spring or the fall. But that's gonna be my second con is the heat. My third major con for the city of Waldemar that I've heard from a majority of residents is a lack of shopping opportunities. Being a small town, we don't have a lot of major chains. Major chains have slowly started creeping into the city, but we don't have a lot to choose from. We do have small mom and pop shops that we love to support, which leads us into my pros. Now, being a small town, we do have a lot of small town restaurants, a lot of small town businesses that we love to support. We pride ourselves in being a small town and carrying small town vibes. Pro number two, we are closer to nature. We are closer to the Santa Rosa Plateau, so that has its own hiking from dawn till dusk, and we also are close to other hiking trails. I'll add the information in the description down below. Grand, the back road, does have its own trail, which people use for jogging or horseback riding. My third pro as a Waldemar native that I love is going to be community events. The city of Waldemar does host its events and they're usually done in the local park. I'm going to also add that in the description down below. They usually hold astrology night, movies in the park, trunk or treating, even Star Wars night. These events are such a great way to learn about your community, to learn about your neighbors and to just get together. We've reached the end of the video. What did you think? If you live in the city of Waldemar or have lived in the city of Waldemar, do me a favor, comment your favorite restaurant down below or something you love doing in the city of Waldemar to help out people that are going to be moving here. If you moved here from say LA, Orange County or San Diego, what was the biggest difference moving here? What encouraged you to move or encouraged you to go back to your native county? Let me know in the comments down below. If you are considering buying or selling in Waldemar within the next few months, please reach out to me or anywhere in Southern California. My phone number is 951-459-7370. I will also be adding my social media links down below to follow me, so check out my Waldemar life. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate. And as always, take care guys.